What's going on, Bulls Nation? In this video, I want to do a film breakdown of the Bulls' defense from the preseason. The Bulls' theme of their defense so far is protect the paint. They're going to do anything possible to make sure that they do not give up easy layups, easy dunks, and they're trying to force teams to take as many perimeter shots as possible. So and I'm just going to show you how much the Bulls are really trying to take away any paint opportunities from the opposing teams. But before we get into it all, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. This play right here, I think is actually very important to kind of show as this Bulls team, we saw early in this Raptors game that the Bulls were doing horrible on defense. But as the, the game went on, we saw that the Bulls really tightened the screws on the defensive end. And the main thing was that they started to take away paint opportunities for the Raptors and forcing three-point shots. And that was a really good thing to see uh, from this Bulls team. And I hope that continues going into the season. But I'm going to back up this play here to show you exactly what i'm talking about about how the bulls are forcing uh the raptors uh to, to throw it back out onto the perimeter and not uh get a paint opportunity so this way here i believe it's off an offensive rebound i could be wrong but fred van fleet gets the ball and he throws it to gary Trent jr in the corner he pump fakes and decides all right i'm gonna drive baseline here so right here the initial part of the defense is zach levine and he actually does a really good job so gary Trent jr obviously drives and zach Playing top side on him is basically saying, I am taking away any sort of opportunity for you to go into the middle of the floor, right? He doesn't want Gary Trent Jr. to go over here because that's when the Bulls will be in trouble. He's saying, I'm going to keep you baseline. So this is a good job by Zach Levine at the start. Now, Vucevic has to then come on over to take away the paint look by coming off his man and stopping Gary Trent Jr. Now, we always talk about help the helper. Stacey King always talks about it in, in, uh, in the middle of the game. This is a big part of this Bulls rotation. The Bulls rotations have to be good and help the helper here is Javante Green has to come off of OG Ananobi to take Vucevic's man. So you see here, Javante Green's in perfect position. The big thing about this is that if Javante Green doesn't come on over, that's a lob up to the rim. That's a simple lob up to the rim or it's just a simple dump off pass and that's an easy dunk. We do not want to give those uh, sort of looks up. So at this very moment in time, Gary Trent Jr. is basically screwed, okay? He is driving baseline. He has picked up his dribble. The only outlet that he has is a pass to the corner to OG Adenobi. That is the only outlet that he has. It is very difficult to make a pass from deep baseline all the way out to the top of the key. And there is no way he is turning around and throwing a pass up to Red Van Fleet with Io DeSumo standing right here. There is no way that's happening. So if there is one little nitpick I have about this, even though it's a good defensive possession, if DeMar DeRozan just comes off of Pascal Siakam right when he sees Gary Trent Jr. pick up his dribble and takes OG Anunobi and takes that pass away, that's a turnover. That's 100% a turnover because Gary Trent Jr. wouldn't have to pass out to OG if he tries to throw it. DeMar's there. And if he hesitates, he steps out of bounds. So that is the only little nitpick I have on this play. But DeMar, unfortunately, is just a second late on this. I'm going to continue to play to show you. So... Gary Trent Jr. is driving. He gets the pass out to OG Anunobi. Now, DeMar recognizes it. So he he had he recognized it just in a nick of time to recover. So he has to run over to, to take OG Anunobi and take away the three-point shot. Now, because the Bulls are in full rotation, I would assume then has to take uh, DeMar's man, which is Pascal Siakam. And to finish off this play, Zach Levine, once the Sumo runs, he has to run over and take Fred Van Fleet. This is taking away all options from an easy drive for the Raptors or getting a wide open three point shot uh, for them, right? Off, off the Gary Trent Jr. drive. Now, also, uh, ideally, you have Javante Green come over and take Gary Trent Jr. Um, but I think he actually kind of gets a little confused on this play, but that's okay. It ended up working out. The big thing also about this play, which is, I think, crucial, is that look where Vucevic is right now. He didn't have to move out of the paint. We want to keep Vucevic as much in the paint as much as possible that is a big thing for this bulls defense moving forward is keep vucevic in the paint and the bulls were able to do that so i'm going to finish this playoff for you uh ball is swung i would assume covers pascal siakam zach comes on over covers fred van fleet they force a three-point shot and it's a miss that's exactly what you want if you're the chicago bulls and just to give you kind of an idea of how important it is to protect the paint if you're the bulls so this is quarter one from that raptors team the Raptors had 18 points in the paint in the first quarter, and they scored 38 points. That is not good at all, right, if you're the Bulls. You do not want to give up 38 points in a quarter and also don't want to give up 18 points in the paint. 
But as they tighten the screws on the defense, look what happened, right? 19 points in the second quarter. Uh, yeah, and 23 points in the third quarter. But the Raptors, they only scored 28 points in the paint for the rest of the game. That's really good defense by the Chicago Bulls and good adjustments uh, by the coaching staff. So I am very, very happy about how the Bulls uh, adjusted in this game to make sure that they took away as many paint opportunities for the Raptors as possible. In this next play, I'm going to show you a pick and roll uh, for the Denver for the Denver Nuggets and how the Bulls guarded this pick and roll. And again, the theme is protect the paint. So the person that I want you to focus on in this play is Javante Green. He is right here guarding Michael Porter Jr. And Michael Porter Jr. is a great three-point shooter. But in this play, you're going to see him come off of Michael Porter Jr., even though he's a great three-point shooter, to protect the paint. So it's I believe this is that's Zeke Naji getting the ball, and it's a pin down for Contavious Caldwell Pope to do a pick and roll in the middle of the floor here. And there's the pick and roll. So first off, good job by Vucevic to be up here, right? You don't want Vucevic down here. That that that'd be a bad thing to do if you're if you're Vucevic. So he's up here at the free throw line. Zach right now has to recover. He needs to try to stay on KCP's uh, hip as much as possible to make sure that he can only go right uh, on this sort of possession. But again, big thing here is Javante Green. He needs to then slide on over to take away Vucevic's man because Vucevic is coming over to help on the pick and roll. And if you take away Zeke Naji, that's taking away the layup or the roll man uh, or looks inside the paint. But it gives up this shot to Michael Porter Jr. But I'm going to show you why the Bulls do that. So here, again, Javante Green moved on over to take away the, the, the roll man. And KCP throws it back out to Michael Porter Jr. But if you're the Bulls, you take this because you're not giving up a layup. And let's say Zeke Nashi catches that ball. Javante Green 6'4". So you want to make sure that the, the Nuggets don't throw that ball in, inside at all. You want to take that away completely. And you are very willing to give up the three-point shot. So ball's thrown out to the perimeter. Javante Green then comes on over to contest it, and they force a miss. Again, Michael Porter Jr. is a great three-point shooter, but you're willing to give up that perimeter shot for the Chicago Bulls. Protect the paint all, at all times. That's at least a theme uh, for right now, uh, especially in the preseason. So I'm going to show you another pick-and-roll play and show you how much, in this play, how much the weak side defense for the Chicago Bulls is coming on over to protect the paint. So we got a 1-4 pick and roll at the top of the key here. So far through the preseason, it looks like the Bulls are willing to switch 1-4. through four. Obviously, if Vucevic is involved in the pick and roll, don't switch it. Um, but 1-4 through four looks like they're willing to switch. Now, Io kind of gets a little messed up here. I'm going to say this is on Patrick Williams, but I, I'm not 100% sure. But the Bulls do switch this pick and roll, okay? Now, you see here, uh, Javon Carter uh, has to pick up his dribble. He gets uh, the ball back, and it's another pick and roll, okay? So... What I want you to watch here, as this pick and roll is about to develop, watch Ayo Desumu and watch Alex Caruso. These are the weak side defenders, right? Because strong side's where the ball is. This is the weak side of the floor. So you need to watch these two guys as the pick and roll develops. So Javon Carter pick and roll. He gets a little step on Patrick Williams, unfortunately. Uh, so Patrick Williams needs to do a better coming off the screen. But look where Ayo Desumu is right now. He's already coming on over saying, we're not letting you get this layup, right? And Alex Caruso is starting to dip down in the paint here to make sure that uh, Vucevic's man doesn't get an easy roll to the rim, okay? That's the important part of all this, and sometimes you know, we don't always see it, but this thing by Aotusumu takes away the layup for Javon Carter. So as you see right here, Javon Carter's screwed now. He's about to go out of bounds. He can't get the layup, right? This is a good job to take away the paint look by the Chicago Bulls. Now, because Io just came off of his man, which is this man here, to cover up uh, the paint look for Javon Carter, the Bulls are now in rotation. So right now, Alex Caruso needs to come off of his man up here and run out to Io's man. Patrick Williams, needs to, needs, who was guarding Javon Carter, he needs to run out and cover up Alex Caruso's man. Io actually just needs to stay on, on Javon Carter. Uh, obviously, Gra Dragic didn't move. But again, big thing, Vucevic is still in the paint. We want to keep this, uh, uh, we want to keep this, ha keep ha let this keep happening if you're the Chicago Bulls, is keep Vucevic in the paint. So here, you're going to see here the Bulls are out in rotation. Ball's thrown to the corner. There's Alex Caruso. And you see Patrick Williams just running back out to cover his man, right? If Io just stayed on Javon Carter, this is a perfect play. But unfortunately, he got a little confused. And they get an open three-point shot out of it. But, you know, it's a miss. But still, that's a simple mistake, right? That's not like a, that's not a, you know, a system mistake. That's just Io just, he just had to stay on Javon Carter. Then that's a fantastic defensive possession for the Chicago Bulls. Now, 
Next play I want to show you here is what happens if with because I mentioned in, in the previous clip, the Bulls are switching one through four. So what happens if a small defender for the Bulls is on a big man? How did how do they defend that? And this is actually something that I think the Bulls started doing in the Milwaukee Bucks series. Um, and if this is like specifically for when guarding Giannis. But you're gonna see here, uh, you're gonna see the switch happen here uh, on this possession where you're gonna see Alex Caruso is gonna get stuck in a big man. Okay, so here's the switch one through four. Patrick Williams is taking Javon Carter. Um, I don't know how to say this guy's last name. It's a like Mamu something, right? So again, Alex Caruso is uh, on a, is on a big man. Okay, this is a mismatch. So how do the Bulls uh, how do the Bulls guard this? So Big thing automatically I want to point out is that I would assume it is standing in the paint. This is Jordan Nawara. He's a good three-point shooter, and he's all the way over here. But one thing to point out is to make the the corner to corner pass this this sort of pass right here. It is very difficult to do that. So I would assume it's like, oh, you're standing in the corner. I'm gonna load up the paint right now because you're not making that pass. But you're gonna see here that actually Nawara is actually gonna move up to to the top of the break. And so then once Io sees that, he's like, okay, I got to guard you. I got to come up and guard you right here. Because making this pass is much easier, okay? So that's that's good recognition by Io just to move off ball. Now, again, mismatch. So what's going to happen here? The, so far from the Bulls, it looks like they're going to be helping from the top side at, for the most part. It, it seems to kind of vary. But the big thing is you're going to see Vucevic come on over here and just protect the paint. He's not going to come and double team. But instead, you're going to see Patrick Williams come on over and help Caruso. Right now, if you're the Bulls, you want to force a pass out back out to the top of the key here. You do not want to let this man take advantage of Caruso's small height and get an easy layup out of it. So you're going to see Patrick Williams is going to start coming on over here and start to dig and double team to help out Caruso. Okay, so there's the double team. Now it's on um, it's on these Bulls defenders to force the pass back out. To, to the top of the key again this cross court pass right here it, i know it kind of looks simple this is a hard pass this is not something that you're going to see very often so right now here here's the double team if you're going on dragic you're guarding butte champ right you need to come on over and give our guard javon carter that was patrick williams's man right if you're Io sumo you just not gotta come on over here because you're guarding nawara you need to come on over and guard butte champ i believe that's how you say his name to finish this playoff, Alex Caruso needs to run off of who he was guarding initially and take Jordan Noir in the corner. Unfortunately, I also gets confused on this possession here, but again, he was in the right position. Um, so you see here, uh, let me run the play. Pass is thrown back out. There's Goran Dragic, right? That's step one. I was already at step two here, and he doesn't even recognize it. But you see Alex Caruso is already coming on over here to guard uh, Jordan Noir, and the Bulls forced yet another perimeter shot and they get the, the rebound out of it. So again, that went from a post-up mismatch to then forcing a three-point shot on the other side of the floor contested, and the Bulls got the miss. That's exactly what they want. Now, I want to show you this play very specifically, and just to show, just to give you like an example of, it's okay if the Bulls play good defense and you know the, the, the opposing team happens to make a shot. It's all right. And this is a prime example of a great defensive possession by the Bulls but it ends up in uh, a shot made for the Raptors. So initially, just automatically, I, I wish I could back this play up a little further, but you're going to see here, Pascal Siakam and is trying to get right into the paint and look at Io DeSumo. He's guarding Fred Van Fleet. So Io is already uh, all the way over here saying, we're not letting you get in the paint. And they're basically going to force Pascal Siakam to throw it back out, okay? So he throws it back out. Now, because Io was all the way guarding Pascal Siakam, he has to run back all the way to Fred Van Fleet. Um, and the ball is thrown back out to OG Anobi, so DeMar DeRozan has to come up, and this was just his man initially. So nothing too special here. So, again, let the play develop here. And ball is thrown to Fred, Fred Van Fleet. Good, good job recovering by Ayo DeSumo, who runs him off the three-point line here. And Fred Van Fleet is going to actually come on over and try to drive it and then kick it right back out to OG Anobi. Plenty of time left still. So this is the next part that... I think is going to establish this Bulls defense. This has to be consistent every single night. I need to see this every single night. And I'm specifically looking at the guards. In this play, you're going to see OG Ananobi. Once he gets the ball, he's going to drive. Okay, He's going to drive left. But what I want what I want you to watch is Iodasumu. Watch what he does to prevent this drive from happening. Okay, So, OG Ananobi catches the ball. And he's going to drive left. Look where Io is. This is the... 
This is so big. He comes off for Fred Van Fleet. Again, another great three-point shooter. And is saying, we're going to wall you right here. I am not allowing you to drive right into the middle of the paint. Okay? We do not want you stepping in the paint at all. What does this do? This forces OG Ananobi to, cut, to pick up his dribble. And DeMar DeRozan stays on his hip. He contests a 19-foot step-back mid-range shot. And guess what? It goes in. But watch the Bulls coaching staff. They're clapping. See? They're saying, guess what? That's a phenomenal defensive possession. That's exactly what we want. Because in this play right here, what I'm about to show you, I'm going to show you bad uh, bad perimeter defense and bad uh, strong side help by, by the Bulls. And it's just a simple rebound off for the Toronto Raptors. And look where Pascal Siakam is able to go. I mean, good job by Iowa Sumo here to cut off this side right here because this is Fred Van Fleet all the way over here. So he did his job, but the person who didn't do his job is DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan needs to come on over here and stop this because, again, we're willing to give up the three-point shot if that means Pascal Siakam doesn't touch the paint, okay? But instead, you see that Pascal Siakam, because DeMar doesn't come on over, he gets right into the middle of the paint, and he ends up missing this shot. But in, in the end, this is not a good defensive possession or team defensive possession. It's good individual defense by Vooch, but DeMar DeRozan needs to help on that, on that possession. He needs to help out to make sure that Pascal Siakam can't step a foot into the paint. That's going to help this Bulls defense tremendously. That's all I have for you guys in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I did see that in my previous video that it is doing very, very well. So I want to say thank you guys for all the support in my previous video. I did not expect it to do that well at all. I'm actually pretty shocked at how well it's doing. So I want to say thank you for all of you that uh, are supporting me on that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video just as much. Um, and I saw that I have a lot of new subscribers. So to all the new subscribers, welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy all the Bulls content on this channel, um, and I plan on continuing to do Bulls content all season long. Um, what's up next on the agenda for me, just kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing next. Uh, on Tuesday, I should be doing my Bulls season preview video, so just kind of guessing where the Bulls are going to end the Eastern Conference, uh, you know, who's starting at Power 4, etc. And then on Wednesday, it's game day for the Bulls, uh, opening, opening day for the Bulls as they take on the Miami Heat. Uh, I plan on doing a live stream after the Bulls versus Heat game. Uh, so you'll get to see my live post-game reaction. Doing kind of similar stuff that I've been doing in these analysis videos or, or film breakdown videos. And I just want to kind of, you know, talk about the game. Uh, go over some of the key points of the game, etc. Um, but, again, I just want to say thank you so much for the support. I am actually shocked at how many subscribers uh, I gained in the past, past 48 hours. I mean, that it was honestly insane to see um so again thank you thank you very much for all the support but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that like button if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i'll see you in the next one peace